Bay, where this is, they're saying it's the biggest catalytic converter theft ring bust in San Jose police history. More than a dozen suspects have been arrested. You have illegal weapons that were also seized mm. during this operation. Our Crown Force Hazik Medyun has details now on this major bust. If you're out stealing catalytic converters, we will be looking for you. If you're one of these businesses that's operating and buying these catalytic converters, we will shut you down. You're looking at the faces of 15 people arrested for allegedly being involved in the illegal theft, possession, or illegal purchase of stolen catalytic converters. The investigation netted the biggest catalytic converter theft ring in the history of the San Jose Police Department. San Jose Police Spokesperson Sergeant Christian Camarillo. We seized a thousand catalytic converters. That's a thousand victims out there. This is a demonstration. Auto repair experts say if you have the right tools, it only takes seconds to remove a catalytic converter. Well, a very elaborate network, right? I mean, it took six months of investigations, of surveillance, of doing a lot of different things to identify and arrest these people. The San Jose Police graphic shows how reported catalytic converter thefts have skyrocketed since 2019. <laughs> There's about $400 right there. The owner of San Jose's Seas Auto Repair Service says he has seen more customers missing their catalytic converters this year than in the previous 25 years at his shop. The material in the catalytic converter is worth a lot of money, and they know where they can get rid of it, and they know there's uh, apps on, the, on, the, uh, on your phone that can go right to the numbers on the catalytic converters that they get, and they can tell them how much it's worth. As you can see from these police photos, the exhaust emission control devices were not the only illegal items investigators recovered. It's not just the stealing of catalytic converters. Some of these people are armed. They're very dangerous. Two recycling centers and one auto parts reseller are now closed in the wake of the investigation. In San Jose, Hazik Madyun, Cron 4 News.